Japanese import gaming enthusiasts are going to revel in the announcement that Amazon is going to allow you to order games from Japan to land of the rising gaming hard on. Straight to your motherfucking residence, pop those bitches inside your game consoles, and enjoy them to your heart's content. Doesn't matter if it's waifu simulators or shoot em ups or fighting games, whatever the fuck it is, whatever your bag is, that's what you'll be able to go and do. Now, for many of us out there, such as myself, I've been importing games from all over the place. Doesn't matter if it's NCSX, doesn't matter if it's Play Asia, doesn't matter if I'm going to a specialized import shop, doesn't matter if I'm going onto eBay and finding specific sellers, that that's all that they cater to is import gamers. I've been getting shit from Europe, from Australia, from Japan, you name it, and it all started with that pocket station right there. That little fucking beast of a memory card that was also like, you know, the first version of the VMU. That's where I got started because of my love for the role-playing game genre in Final Fantasy VIII because that shit was compatible and we weren't getting diddly dick outside Japan, so had to import. So it was one of my birthday presents. But anyway, now this makes me curious, will this blow up the import gaming scene a little bit bigger? Because a lot, I've always viewed it as kind of a, a niche thing. You know, like a subgenre, a subcategory, but then gaming. I know there's a lot of people that they have their preferences in terms of like game genres and platforms, but we're talking about getting games from just one specific region. Because there's all sorts of exclusives on all sorts of platforms in Japan. Lots of different systems that, again, were just Japan exclusive. I mean, fuck, I just got Duffel May Cry 4 Special Edition on PS4. Just for an example, because that was the only way you could get a physical version. Unless they end up bringing out one here, Capcom, you should do that. Seriously, it just makes some sense. But anyway, point being is that that's, that's sometimes the only alternative that you can get. Like, if you want to play Fatal Frame 4, you wanted a physical version of it, you had to import it. Then you had to go and get the patch, download that, and come on. And it's, just, it's fucking annoying, Nintendo. Why the hell haven't you made that in HD? I'm just wondering. But anyhow, so import shots, all the other shit... Will this give them a run for their money? I highly doubt it because this is something that they specialize in, but competition's always a good thing and everybody's gotta go and step their shit up. Now, I I started looking into this a bit more. It made me kind of curious. Do, do you have to go and have an Amazon account? Well, no, sh no shit, Sherlock. Yes, you gotta go and have one. But I, I kind of wondered, would I be able to go and get like free two day shipping? Oh, of, of fucking course not. They can't go and teleport that shit. They have like the fucking Rocketeer or the Flash or some shit. And you know, they're just like, oh, here, here you go. Here's Quicksilver just delivering your fucking game because you're so special. Cause you go and pay for this shit. <laughs> no, not, nothing like that. So that shit doesn't apply, the 20% doesn't apply, which I think kind of sucks, but I thought it was kind of neat that Amazon was even focusing on this. So I guess they realized not only is there a lot of people importing video games from different regions in the world, but video games are a high thing on consumers' radar of things to import. I just thought that was kind of badass, but this should also send a message to Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, that people do like that import shit, so maybe it will change their mind, you know, that, well, I guess we should go and publish this, look how many people are ordering it, it just makes sense, and we want a piece of that pie. Now, because the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are both region-free, I think that this will help that cause a little bit more. Like, right now, on PS4, I've got two import games, and that's Hotline Miami, because that was the only way I could get a physical version. As a matter of fact, that's the only physical version of it. A lot of people don't even know about that. And then the Dove May Cry for it, like I said. Now, there, there's a couple other ones out there that I want to go and pick up. But, you know, if there's too much Japanese text, I'm just like, man, dude, fuck this shit. And I know that this could extend beyond gaming. Maybe this should include... Uh, I, I'm just going to safely assume... Does it include Amiibo? I think, maybe, possibly. They are video game accessories, technically. So... Will that? Because I know that it when the scalping thing was at an all-time high and reselling was just it just out of fucking control, people were importing their amiibo figures. So maybe with that, would this also include video game memorabilia such as shirts, uh, like some some kind of statues and busts and all sorts of other crap? Will this 
include controllers and game systems, all sorts of shit. I've only looked into the video games and that's literally it. Everything outside that spectrum I haven't really paid attention to, but something worth noting and, and asking, and if this does well, can we see this extended into other regions? Like, will this work for Europe? And vice versa, will this be something that we can start importing games directly from Europe to America? I, I have no fucking clue. But it still makes me happy to see that they're at least trying this out and doing it. So, steps in the right direction. But remember, always support your import shops and the import sites because, well, they've been doing it the longest. And they're the ones who definitely deserve to have your hard-earned cash and all the other shit. I don't know, I just, I like import gaming. I mean, look at all those import Sega Saturn games. It's, it, okay. You might not be able to see them, but they're down there. There's a lot. I needed Elevator Action Returns and Castlevania Symphony of Night. They were like some of my most fucking wanted things. Ah, there's so many other fucking games I want to import for the Saturn. Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, two of the best goddamn systems you can import for, hands down. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, Nurse Nerdettes and Gamers Game. The fuck on!